I'm Nathan Graham, and this is another episode of Movie Talk. Today, we're talking about Sicario. Sicario. So Sicario is about the main female protagonist, Kate Maser, played by Emily Blunt, being recruited by Josh Brolin. He's recruiting her so the FBI can cut down on drug cartels in Juarez, Mexico. Along the way, she encounters Benicio Del Toro, who plays Alejandro, a very suspicious kind of man who came from Colombia and now is working with the FBI. It's a movie where the whole time you're wondering, who can you trust and what is everyone's motives? Directed by Denis Villanueva, he's done movies like Enemy and Prisoners, and you can definitely see that kind of vibe also going through this movie. Every single movie I see Emily Blunt in, I like her more and more. Her character is struggling to be taken seriously in a world ruled by men. Very Silence of the Lambs-esque when Clarice is standing in a room feeling so small around all of these men who just can't take her seriously. But when it comes down to it, I really want Emily Blunt to be the one protecting me, not Josh Brolin who kind of treats the thing like a joke since he's been in the game so long. That's one thing I think this movie did very well. All of the characters who had already been involved in it knew exactly what was going on, but the audience is uncovering more and more of the truth, just as Emily Blunt's character is. From a pretty rough opening, and then to meeting Benicio Del Toro's character Alejandro, Emily Blunt's able to really narrow down who she can trust and what exactly is going on in Mexico. This movie has a lot of establishing shots of Mexico and Arizona, and that'd be great if it didn't go on for so long. Whenever characters are moving from place to place, the camera just follows the landscape, and it's very beautiful, but it just goes on for way too long. I found myself thinking that all the shots of Mexico, the ones in the middle could have been removed, and the ones at the end could have been perfectly acceptable to move a character from point A to point B. I'm not going to give anything away, obviously, but the last sequence of the movie really wasn't necessary. There was a part in the movie where I thought, alright, this is a perfect place to end it. Emily Blunt's been on this whole journey, her character's forever changed, her world is never going to be the same, and then it keeps going. And I really just think that it wasn't necessary to do that. All in all, this movie portrayed a gritty reality that the FBI has to deal with every day, from drugs going to Mexico to the U.S., and vice versa. All the characters in this movie are broken. They've either been corrupted by people around them, seen something they didn't want to see, or are just in way too deep with what's going on in the drug cartel. I think this movie is definitely worth the watch, especially from a director who's had a lot of movies that kind of go unnoticed, like Prisoners and Enemy, which are both amazing and I highly recommend. But honestly, go see Sicario. I'm giving this one four out of five Moscows. I really enjoyed it. Just a reminder that next week, Joe and I are going to be reviewing Crimson Peak with a special guest, so stick around for that. This has been Movie Talk, and as always, I'm Nathan Graham. Take care.